We're going to Central America right now. We are? Yes. Where are we going? Uh, it looks like we're going to Panama. To the canal? No, just Panama. Just Panama? Just so Panama. are we getting there through the canal? Sure. And Why not? Yeah. Just don't get a boat that's too big. You don't no. want to get stuck. Oh, no. You don't want to get stuck. Where, no. where, where, where'd that happen? Suez. Oh, Suez. We, do, we don't want to do that. Ah, it's a whole other place. So what we have here is part of our kick lately, right? Rum. We do a lot of rum. Yeah, we've done a lot of rum. We've been talking well, to our so good... you know what? Summer's approaching. Exactly. We've been talking to our good friends, Black Tot, and our friends, Mitch and Dawn. Yes. Those we two crazy a kids. Lot, a lot, a lot, a lot about Those rum. two crazy kids. And what showed up on your doorstep? Yeah, and it, when we were talking to them a little while back during the rum show, um, I got an email about this Selva Ray rum. And this is apparently backed by Bruno Mars. So it's a celebrity product. It is a celebrity product. Which we would normally be somewhat suspect of. Yeah. But when you read about the product? It, it, might, be, it might be good. Shall I? Show you. Okay. So you got this big, beautiful box here. And it's really cool. It's got the toucan, mm -hmm. not toucan Sam. No. No cereal in this box. No. And you got this beautiful bottle. Now, the reason I put it this way is because I just can't get it on the camera. It's just too damn big. And the inside it, of the box also has artwork. It's, it's very, very pretty. Just, very pretty. The bottle is secured by some very, very sturdy foam. It looks like a bottle of champagne. Yeah. It really does. And it's going to be a little bit of a... Pain. The presentation of the bottle is really spectacular. Yeah, no question. Can I get it out? Oh, there we go. And if you didn't have the arthritis. Uh, the arthritis. <laughs> the arthritis. Arthritis. All right. So, you know, it's a beautiful bottle. It's got this really pretty label. It's got the beautiful <laughs> gold there, the shape of the bottle. It checks all of my boxes. All right. I don't really know what's in it at this point, but yeah, I'm in matter. love. I'm in it love. It doesn't matter. It's, it's I'm a just in love. Yeah, you know, because Bruno... You know what Bruno has? Showmanship. He does. I've said this before. I told my son. My son, who likes to do theater, the eldest, I said, you're not the greatest singer. You're not the greatest dancer. You're not the greatest actor. But what you have is showmanship. You got the thing. The it. I think he's got, I think he's got it. I really do. Now, you know, I was once told I had it. Well, and they said it. I should go to the doctor and find the cure for it. Did you have it? Oh, I don't know. Let me focus here. Hold on. Okay. Okay, so I will I will put this up here. Hang on, I lift it up. We'll close the box. We'll move the bottle. I will pour. You pour. You read a tiny bit. I will pour. You read. It. That's a really beautiful bottle. Now do the pour. Let's see. Did we get a plug? This is a very heavy. One. It is a heavy bottle. It's got quite the neck. Look at that. That's thick. No Ooh. plug. We want it dark. No plug. I think it's because it's shape of the neck. Dark. It doesn't have that. Yeah, you know, usually you get that. Yeah, it's it's, it's, it's all one. Yeah. Okay, so, from the fine folks at Magrino Public Relations. Uh, Chiba, I hope you're doing well. I want to introduce you to Selva Ray, a new rum line from Bruno Mars. The latest release in the Selva Ray lineup is his Owner's Reserve. Bruno's vision for the Owner's Reserve was to represent the apex of tropical luxury. Extremely limited in quantity, the rum sold out within two hours when it debuted on Reserve Bar in January. But it's making its way back out there again in retailers now and customers and loyal fans, a.k.a. hooligans, can sign up for alerts via email. The pinnacle of the Selva Ray collection. By the way, this goes for $150 a bottle. The packaging alone is $80. Oh, no, no, it's beautiful. Owner's Reserve is a premium aged rum hand-selected from the deep sellers of master distiller Don Pancho Francisco Fernandez. The owner in Owner's Reserve, Bruno Mars, tasked the rum-making legend with blending his finest aged rums across the distillery's best vintage blends to make a highly nuanced, deliciously smooth offering that would rival the best aged rums on the market. A pure expression of Panama's unique terroir, this 40% ABV sipping rum combines 15 and 25-year-old blends with a profound weight yet striking elegance. It begins with aromas of caramelized brown sugar, pipe tobacco, Pedro Jimenez, sherry, and orange peel while finishing with endlessly silky notes of baked apple crumb, crumble, and roasted Brazilian nuts. It sounds delicious. So you basically give me all the tasting notes and I should just make up stuff and say I get all that? Yeah, pretty much. And what's wrong, what do you want? Uh... So from talking with, uh, with Mitch, he said that there's um, white and gold and uh, dark. Right? Well, that's, that's, all, how, that's, that's how... all there is, right? There's nothing else. I, I gleaned, I may have dozed off while he was talking. You know, by the way, the color on this is really interesting. Sir, cheers. Cheers. Oh, wait, wait, let's do that again. Hang on. Cheers. That's better. better. That's better. better. 
my much better. My ham hocks might have been in the way. The color is interesting. It almost has like a like a amaro or a vermouth so kind I, of color. I, to it. I wonder if it's fifteen and twenty five year old. Fifteen and twenty five year old. So ones. I wonder if the the time it's in there and, and a little bit of sh the sherry casking maybe they're doing adds to some of the color as well. Maybe maybe it's kind of funky. It's like not just like your usual amber hue to it. It's got a little bit of a and it's it's a bit vapory. For forty percent, yeah. Forty percent. I'm getting a lot of that caramel, mm -hmm. like a toffee-ish. It's it's almost like a whiskey without the 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 big oomph. Yeah, I, I almost get like a like a like a caramelized pineapple, like a grilled pineapple note. Yeah, you know, you're getting the islands. Mm. Well, in this case, Panama, Central America. I just mean from the sugar caning. It's mm. the the fruit notes, tropicals. Boy, that's nice. That is not shy. It's, that is it's nice. very, very, I mean, it's very rich. It's uh, viscous, it's rich, it's uh, almost a noble flavor. Mm. I can see why this would sell out as quickly as it did. That is pretty good. It's a little on the sweet side. Yeah. Unlike the uh, Foursquare we uh, reviewed a while back. But that's also, you know, 50% stronger. That's a 60%. Yeah, and, and, and you don't get... I want to say that it, it seems that there's a characteristic for each of the locations you make the rum. Some yeah. have some funk, some have banana, uh -huh. some have this, some of that. You're really not getting any funk with this. This is really just a well-rounded, delicious yeah. rum. Yeah, and, and, you know, they said there was Pedro Jimenez. Mm -hmm. So I almost get that, like, fortified wine on the back on the back end. A little cherry flavor at the back end. Yeah, you get like yeah. that, like, almost yeah. like, um, like a Manhattan. Yeah. You know, when you get yeah. that little yeah. note of, like, the, yeah. the maraschino cherry yeah. or whatever it is? So that is very nice. This is really, really well done. Now, we are usually somewhat skeptical of celebrities jumping in. Right. Because they tend to do it a bit ham-fisted, and they're in it for a buck. Well, it's a money but grab, it, right? It seems as if uh, Bruno Mars has got the right guy mm -hmm. to do the work for him. Yeah, I've seen a couple, and, uh, a couple uh, articles about this guy, and apparently he's, you know, he is a legendary guy. And again, I don't know much about Bruno Mars and why he's picked Panama and... Panamanian runs, right. but this is really good. It's really well done. But again, the difference is I still I get this like little vermouthy note. And yeah. it, it must it's got to be the Pedro Jimenez, yeah. right? It's, it's like a cocktail almost. Yeah, almost. Uh, it, it reminds me of the Diplomatico a lot. Yeah. So it's probably a little more approachable than like the funky rums yeah. that we've yeah, tried yeah, in the past. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Like the Foursquare, I think yeah. is more. You know, that's got a little bit more. It's it's, it's just a big punch. It's bringing the noise and the funk. Oh, yeah, it's bringing it all. Yeah. This is more easy drinking. This is like an after-dinner drink. And I'm, I'm not getting as much of the caramelization as I was expecting. Mm -hmm. It's more of a like a, almost a well-balanced cocktail in the glass. Yeah. All the different flavors from the 15, the 25, the casking, whatever. It was right. Done with it. Yeah, it's pretty good. It's really well done. Yeah, it's decent. I'd it's probably give this a B+. Plus. Yeah, I, I mean, I yeah. don't know. I don't know about the 150. Yeah, well, mean. based on the price, that's a whole different thing. And again, because it's aged, I think the aged rums cost a little bit more. Right. And you're mixing 15 and 25. I don't right. know if this is, you know, 95% 15 and 5% yeah. 25, or there's a lot of 25 in there. Right. But it, um, we've seen the four square go for 65, 85, something like that, for 10s and 12s. Right. So to get something that's this old at 150. Uh -huh. Yeah, and you're paying a little bit for the packaging. Right. Yeah, and paying a little bit for Bruno Mars. Yeah. I think it all adds <laughs> up to 150. I think it's a really well done rum. It's like Versace yeah. on the floor. Really well done rum. That's and, you know, the, the box is beautiful. The packaging is beautiful. The lock that it keeps it inside the box with the phone uh -huh. is it's just really well done. Everything about it is first class. Yeah. It looks great. And it's not like overly cheesy. Like we had a couple that were like, eh, you know, kind of like, what was that one? That cognac. I forget what it was. Billionaire's Club or... Well, we've had some things that were all style and no substance. Right. That it was very, very pretty and very yeah, well and that, designed. And that's as far as it went. But the product itself was like, ooh, this is mm. not really what I was hoping to get. Um, I think this product inside the bottle is every bit as good as the outside of the bottle. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's good. It's very nice. So, thank you to the folks at Magrino for sending this along. And uh, cheers to you. Yeah, cheers. Cheers to Selvare and cheers to Bruno Mars. Cheers. That's a guy I'd see in concert. Why? You not? know why? 
Showmanship. Showmanship. The guy puts on a good show. And for a little guy, pound for pound. Oh, yeah, absolutely. He's like, you know, he's like the new prince. Mm-hmm. You know? The man's good. So, cheers, folks. <laughs>